Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Political Vigilante. Juicing up the studio, a little more light coming over my money makers. We call it in the business. Guess what you're doing? You're making Gotham great again. Oh, boom, boom, pow, boom, 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 boom. So we talked about this. If you watch me, I was on uh, Jimmy Dore Live. This happened Friday and Saturday on Black Friday. Amazon workers strike in Germany and Spain on Black Friday. Wait a minute. Workers walked out on the busiest shipping day? How could they do that? How could they do that? Well, one thing is for certain. In countries where people have Medicare for all, they're not afraid of losing their jobs because they get their health care from the government. Whereas if you get your health care from your employer, you're afraid of getting fired or going on strike. That's why you don't want to ask for more wages. We've been, uh, there's another video I'm going to do about how everyone says the economy is great. Wages have not increased. They have not increased <laughs> in America. This is huge. This was a coordinated thing by employees knowing this is the biggest, busiest day in the shipping warehouses in Amazon, an online retailer. Here's what they did. Workers in Amazon's logistics centers in Germany and Spain staged strikes on Friday, walking off the job on Black Friday, the discount spending spree that kicks off the start of the crucial Christmas shopping season. One of the reasons it's called Black Friday is it's when retailers get in, that's an, uh, um, an accounting term, right? When you're in the red, you're in a deficit when you're in the black. So usually it takes retailers all year to get into the black. That's what, hence where the term Black Friday came from. Now we have Cyber Monday and all this other stuff. Um, Amazon Germany said that around 620 workers were participating in the strikes at its Bad Hersfeld and Rheinberg facilities, but the majority of the employees were continuing to work and there was no impact on customer orders. Oh, really? Amazon said that? Well, you know what that means. No impact. Hey, employees, we just want to let you know the strike didn't work. That's what they're trying to say. That's what they're trying to say. But Germany's Verity Services Union had called for Amazon workers to strike for 24 hours until midnight on Friday, demanding better pay and labor contracts that guarantee healthy working conditions. We are entering the end of the year spurt, the most stressful time for employees, said the Verdi representative. Especially on a day like Black Friday, employees should be the central focus. What a crazy idea that employees should be the focus of a business. If you run a business, your employees are the most crucial part of it. Huh. I produced a TV show where I hired a bunch of people, comedians and, you know, staff people and all that stuff. They were the most, the, the comedians were, and everybody were the most crucial part of it. Without the comedians, I don't have a TV show. Without the camera people, we don't have a TV show. I know how important they are. Not Amazon, not Bezos. Amazon Germany said its jobs offered competitive pay and comprehensive benefits from its first day of employment. Staff in Germany earn a starting salary of 1078 euros, which is the equivalent of $12.23 per hour, and earn an average of monthly wage of 2,300, almost 2,400 euros after two years. Wow. So because of the pressure of Bernie Sanders and the Stop Bezos Act, American Amazon employees get $15 an hour. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I mean, look, Bezos doesn't have the money. I mean, the guy's only worth, what, $158 billion or whatever? We can't ask too much of him. That wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. Workers at Amazon's biggest warehouse in Spain, San Fernando de Hernanes, walked off the job on Friday and will also strike on Saturday. Union said between 85 and 90 percent of the staff were taking part in the industrial action. Amazon Spain said the figures did not reflect reality and the majority of employees were processing orders. No. This article, this is the other thing. This, this was just like, at a, I don't know, CNBC or something like that. It's one of these, just, they just report the very minor statistics of something. There was another article where they said, 
Amazon asked the Spanish police to go inside the warehouse and make sure uh, workers stayed productive. With what, nightsticks? Like, keep your eyes on your job. Don't worry about those striking troublemakers outside. Keep your eyes on your job. Like, the beatings will continue until morale improves kind of attitude. The, the Spanish police said, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Think American police would do that? They'd be like, woo, we get to tune up some slack-jawed workers that want to get a, a livable wage to feed their families. We're going to nightstick those jagoffs until the sun comes home. The police chief said, no, that's what we need. If you're a cop or something and they're asking you to do bullshit, they're asking you to hit protesters in favor of some corporation, say no. See what happens when people say no? Because you know what Amazon's going to do? First, they're going to fill their factory full of robots. That's definitely what they want to do. Then what do we do? What does society do when, when automation gets rid of all these employees? What are we going to do? How are these people going to... Federal jobs guarantee, universal basic income, and a Green New Deal? That sounds good, but that sounds like some hippie bullshit. Why would we want to give everybody jobs saving the planet, making green technology? Why would we want to do that? That doesn't make any sense. The reason why these people shouldn't have gone on strike is because these are the two houses that Jeff Bezos bought in D.C. that he's fusing together. This is his house in Washington, D.C. So this isn't cheap, guys. So all these man, you go off, he has to pay for this, okay? And he has a $75 million Gulfstream. Jet fuel is not free. So I don't want to see any more striking troublemakers. Oh, I'm only making $12 an hour. He has to pay for this as one of his 20 houses. He has to put two houses together. Or is he putting homeless people in here or middle class families, people that foreclose in their home? No, 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 it's just him and his servants and his whatever else. So I implore you, please don't strike for livable wages. This is Jeff Bezos has to pay for his house here. Come on, guys. Just think. You know what I mean? Hopefully Amazon will get their own police force so they can just beat the shit out of their employees whenever they have the audacity to want to be treated humanely in the workforce. What an asshole. What an asshole. One of these houses is a palace. Is a palace. He needs two of them together. I get it. I get it. It's like Betsy DeVos needs 10 yachts. I've said this before. We can't expect her to use the same yacht in, in like the Caribbean that she uses in the south of France. The same yacht you're in Fiji with is not the same yacht you go to Hawaii with unless you're a goddamn animal. I mean, if you're a fucking filthy garbage person, maybe you'll use the same yacht like some kind of fucking gypsy refugee or some, I don't know, hill dweller. I don't know what you do. You absolutely need to buy two mansions in our nation. Why is he living in our nation's capital? Oh, because he runs the Washington Post. Or because the CIA pays him $600 million a year. Ah, don't worry about it. $600 million is nothing. It's pocket change to a guy with $158 billion. Jeff Bezos could peel off one of his billion dollars, of his $158 billion. He could peel off one of them, give them to all of his employees across the planet, make all of their lives better, stimulate the economy, help people he could peel off another billion and give everybody health care, and he would still have $156 billion. He could still live in two houses that occupy a full fucking city block. If I had that kind of money, I would get up every morning giggling at how many people I got to help that day. Don't you want to help make people's lives better, or are you just a fucking heartless sociopath? This is the size of like my entire apartment building with 20, there's people with kids in my building, there's married couples, there's like, <laughs> I hope it's worth it, Basie. Folks, don't be one of these assholes. 
Don't give your money to Amazon. Go to the Patreon page and support the show. There's a lot of great ways to support the show. First of all, watch the ads go all the way through when you watch it on YouTube. Don't hit skip because I don't get paid. If you just let the ad play, I get paid, even if it's one of those CR conservative, you know, <laughs> the liberal media, right? Boeing, liberal, no, it's not. Wake up, CRTV, but keep by it ad time on the channel because if you let those ads play, then those people have to pay me. Um, a lot of great ways to support the show. Go to GrahamElwood.com, tour dates. Ron and I are doing more shows in 2019, Progressive Comedy Tour. Thanks a lot, you guys. Like, subscribe, share the videos.